welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what is tablet capping and what causes it tablet capping refers to the partial or complete separation of the top or bottom crown of a tablet from the body common causes includes formulation issues process issues or tooling problems reference who's trs that is technical report series number 1025 annex 2 What role does pre-compression force play in preventing capping? Pre-compression helps to remove trapped air from the granules before the main compression stage, reducing the likelihood or probability of capping. Reference guideline USP chapter number 1062. What is the importance of monitoring fines percentage in granules? High fines content can interfere with proper particle bonding and compression, leading to capping. Fines should be minimized during sieving and granulation processes to ensure uniform granule size. Reference WHO's TRS number one zero two five annex two. What role does granule preparation play in preventing capping? Granule preparation, including drying, milling, and lubrication, ensures proper compressibility and flowability. Over dried or under lubricated granules can increase capping risk. Operator should ensure uniform granule size and Optimal moisture content during granulation. Reference ICHQ eight R two. How can the depth of fill in dies affect tablet capping? Uneven or excessive fill depth can lead to variations in compression force distribution, causing weak bonds and increasing the risk of capping. Reference guideline ICHQ eight R two. What role does moisture content in granules play in preventing capping? Low moisture content can lead to insufficient tablet cohesion, causing capping. Optimal moisture levels are critical to ensure proper plastic deformation and bonding during compression. Reference guideline ICHQ 8R2. How does improper tablet press speed contribute to capping? High press speeds reduce dwell time, preventing proper bonding between particles. This increases the risk of air entrapment and capping. Reference WHO TRS number nine sixty one annex six. How does punch design affect capping? Improper punch design, such as excessive concavity or worn punches, can lead to uneven distribution of compression forces, resulting in capping. Reference USP chapter number one zero six two. How does over lubrication contribute to capping? Excessive lubricant, example magnesium stearate, can Reduce interparticle bonding, leading to capping. Reference guideline WHO TRS number nine eighty one annex two. What compression parameters should be monitored to minimize capping? Here is a list of four key compression parameters that should be monitored to minimize capping. These are first compression force, second pre-compression force, third dwell time, and fourth punch speed. Reference guideline USP chapter number one two one seven. How can granule size and distribution influence capping? Granules with a broad particle size distribution or high fines content may cause uneven compression, leading to capping. Reference guideline WHO TRS number one zero two five. Very important question: What in process controls help to detect capping during production? Tablet visual inspection, hardness testing, and thickness measurement are the key in process parameters that help to detect capping during production. Reference guideline WHO TRS number nine sixty one annex six. How can changes in environmental conditions cause capping? Low humidity can lead to rapid drying of granules, reducing their plasticity and increasing capping risk. Controlled humidity and temperature conditions are important. Reference guideline WHO TRS number nine fifty three annex two. How is tooling maintenance related to capping prevention? Regular maintenance, polishing, and alignment of punches and dies are essential to ensure uniform compression and prevent capping. Reference guideline FDA's guidance for industry. Important question: What corrective action should be taken if capping occurs during production? First, adjust compression force and dwell time. Secondly, review and optimize granule properties, example moisture and particle size. Third, inspect and replace worn punches or dies and Fourth, very important, reassess lubricant concentration. Reference guideline ICH Q9 quality risk management. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.